We're going to break down Christian Che's World Championship winning throw and his Diamond League record throw. And we're going to start right now. Okay, so first, I want to watch Che winning the uh, the World Championships. This video quality is not the absolute best for breaking down technique, but you can see a little bit of what he's doing. And I want to also point out that um, you know Che is now coached by Garrett Cantor, um, super successful. You know, didn't have the greatest Olympic performance. Uh, sort of snuck in into that into that Olympic final, but then this year was just on fire. And also, we've got to remember, he's a young dude. Like he's like 22 now, 23 max, I think. And and he's huge. You know, all of I feel like he's all a six nine, six ten. He's absolutely in, enormous, and I think he moves really, really well. I think Canner's done a great job developing him, and probably helped uh, quite a bit as far as like that mental aspect behind competing against the big dogs like Daniel Stahl, Seaman Peterson, um, Gudzius, Alekna, you know, and, and those two with Alekna and Che coming up, it's absolutely awesome for the sport. So I want to watch the, the world championship throw first when he goes 71, and then we'll look at some of the technique there and then compare that to the world lead or the, the diamond league uh, record that he hit in Birmingham and what that looked like. So one of the things that we can see, okay, Coming out of the back of the circle, discus is behind that right hip. Okay, so you can see the discus here. Hips a little bit more forward. His left hip is right there. Okay, so as that left hip's right there, what happens? I love doing that. Okay, watch where his right grounds. Notice that this arrow, that's his left hip. Okay, right? Right here. So as his right is cutting, I like to see where's that left hip at. Right leg cuts, where's the left hip? That's going to predict where that right foot grounds. Okay, so his right foot grounds right there. Notice how balanced he is here. He's got that left arm across, okay, right here. Left arm across, and he's going to get a decent high point. He almost gets the discus like just in line with his head. Okay, he's got that low left as he comes from out of the back. So that left leg gets to the front. And then that left thing, left left thing his left foot this is something that Val does and I think a lot of people don't talk about but they should pay attention to so high school kids college kids coaches when the left leg's going to the front if you can get the left hip the non-dominant hip and knee to open while you're holding that position with the shoulders that makes a big stretch across the abs, and that helps lead to a better finish. So in this case, his left knee is facing inside that right sector while his shoulders are at 180. So when the left foot grounds, left foot grounds, shoulders at 180, but the left knee is open, and Val does the same thing. Um, and then as he's got that nice long wingspan, he pulls through. He's nice and balanced on that left here as he transfers forward and just smacks this finish absolutely phenomenal throw so that's a great throw 71 meters there's canner um but let's go back to what he did in birmingham i think this one this one's a great one to analyze a little better of a video quality or at least angle that birmingham stadium too is sweet to throw in you can get if the wind's coming the right way you can get a really nice wind if it's not coming the right way it can be a little bit harder to throw in, but it's one of those stadiums that I think is a pretty favorable stadium for uh, for discus. Okay, so I want to point out here a couple things. One thing I actually don't like about his technique is I don't like how he drops that discus. Now, he's a world champion. I'm not saying he's a bad human being. I'm saying I prefer that this discus would be in line and level with his left arm. This is his technique. This is what he does. I don't coach dropping that discus. Just don't be offended out there, everybody. Um, one thing I love, okay, is how he opens this left foot past that that 180. Gets past 180, and he's still grounded with the right. This is actually something we're working on with Sam. Alex does this really well, Alex Rose. Right here, look at that position here. And this thing is really, really open. And what that does is that that creates, look at that position, holy cow, this is probably the deepest double support position I've ever seen in the back of the circle. So there's two things, okay, that we're going to talk about. 
his double support in the back and what he's doing when he grounds at the front. Okay. And these are two aspects that very, very few coaches touch on holding a double support as long as possible. Jesus Depina has talked about this from back in the eighties, the research and the nineties research around the discus throw and what the left arm does and how that actually leads to quite a bit of angular momentum. And so this position as he's opening with that left knee and that left arm enables his right to get this really aggressive uh, stretch. And then it makes the left leg faster because it's open more while he's in double support. So that right leg comes around and you can see here, okay, his right leg, I think his right leg's longer here during the, the Diamond League comp than it was in the, the World Championships. His right leg's nice and long, nice and long. Left knee is sort of just inside that right sector. Left arm's open. And now that's where he gets that really balanced position with his upper body as his right leg's cutting. Okay, so now we can see either that left hip left hip cuts in and that or that left hip is determining where his right foot's going to go okay right foot grounds he holds this position he's got that classic che low left foot okay discus you can see so this is like the discus right there as he's letting the discus come past you can sort of see it sneak past right here that discus he gets a high point not as substantial as like yaime uh, Perez, but you can see it's just in line with like the top of his head. So he does get a high point above the head right there. You can see holding that left arm. Okay. Holding that left arm. Now, remember what I pointed out here. This is that position I want to talk about with the left knee. That left knee is inside that right sector. He opens his left hip as the left leg gets to the front and his left foot grounds open while his left shoulder is back. Okay, and then that enables him to have a bent right knee. Remember, you have a bent right knee on the finish. You do not extend your right knee. Look at that throw. He is not extending his knee. So we need to stop doing that weird drill where we extend our knees. Just let the weight transfer forward. The weight transfers forward when we're throwing. Okay, you can see that with that left foot being down and then that right side just comes all the way through and you can see look at this position here this is right after his release as he bails on that left foot look at how long he is on that finish that right shoulder coming forward like crazy and he just gets a really really nice hit on it absolutely phenomenal throw i think this is 71 27 or 37 you can see this from the side position look at that left knee you can start to see that left knee is about to open right there it's open that left hip's open and his shoulders are back over the right side, and he just cranks on that finish. So I think these are – what's crazy with, with Che, here's another angle, right? Boom, right there, okay? That left knee is starting to open inside that right sector right there, and that enables him to really square up on that well and just finish really, really long. But it all starts – remember, guys, it all – and women, it all starts with – what he does out of the back. I think this is one big factor that everybody can take out of this throw is this double support in the back of the circle is phenomenal. Okay. And that's something that everybody can take notes on. It's really hard to teach, but it helps him get wide with that right leg and be quick with the left leg to the front. Those are those key concepts. So I like Chase technique also for the simple fact that it's pretty freaking simple. It's pretty easily uh, repeatable. He's consistent with his movement patterns over and over and over again, and he's not doing anything crazy fancy. Open patiently out of the back, wide right leg, ground that nice and fast to the middle, hold the left arm a little, get a high point with the right side, let the left hip open. That's the hardest thing that he does is the left hip opens while he's holding that left arm. Uh, and then he sits through that finish. So head over to throwsuniversity.com if you want to pick up our elite training program or a technical analysis so that we can help you guys drop some bombs. Peace.